Well, the weather forecaster has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Belgium versus Austria. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Toby Alderweireld plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. And a look at the starting 11 for Austria. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And the game begins. De Bruyne, Tielemans, Axel Witzel. Well read to ease the pressure. Axel Witzel. Promising looking ball. Could be dangerous. De Bruyne. Great opportunity. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Alderweireld. Here's Tielemans. And return to Azar. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Can he find the right pass? A fine reading of the situation. Dejan Ljubicic. This could square the game, but the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. Opportunity it is. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating.
Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Vertonghen. Axel Witzel. De Bruyne now. And Belgium in a position of menace. And now here's Aiden Azar. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Vertonghen. Plenty of support here. Might be a chance here. And it's in! They're back in front. Stunning scenes here. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. Ljubicic. Determined defending. Well, attacking possibilities. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Carrasco! Oh, a good diving save. And deciding to go short with this one. Into the centre by Azar. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one, and far too close to the goalkeeper. Marcel Zabitza. And played the pass well. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Arnautovic, using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. De Bruyne, magnificent defending. Stefan Leiner. Well read to put an end to that attack. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Well, the attack looks promising. A chance to whip it in. And over the touchline for what will be an Austria throw-in. Liner. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And just slightly offside.
Azar. Lukaku. Dangerous looking through ball. Really important tackle. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Getting in there to intercept. Plenty of support here. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. It needs an accurate cross. Must score! Oh, magnificent reaction. Schlager. This could square the game. Well, he had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. De Bruyne. Azar on the ball. And slipped through beautifully. A really top-notch piece of defending. Marcel Zabitza. Can he do it? And he read it really well. Fine save. Substitution time it is here. Played over. It might still be problematic. Schlager. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Could be a chance to break here. And he's broken free. In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, as you can see, they finished this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. So back underway at 3-1. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Superbly read and executed. Well, no surprise there. Belgium have had more of the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Carrasco. Now with De Bruyne. Oh, Hans van Aken. Brilliantly blocked. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Alaba. De Bruyne. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. There's a slide draw pass. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Can he get one back? And fine goalkeeping. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution.
Well, opting for the short corner. Alaba. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Attacking possibilities for Belgium. Lukaku, and it might be. In it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, as you can see, it's a really good pass by Hazard. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. So the action continues, and Belgium really beginning to run away with this now. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. Baumgartner. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Van Aken. De Bruyne. The ball with Zabica. Leiner. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Lukaku. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Ten minutes left for play. Arnautovic. Very quick thinking there. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. Arnautovic and using his strength to shield the ball Leiner Schlager firing it towards goal oh good save substitution time it is here And over it comes. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Lukaku. And the pass could do damage. 
Carrasco and back with Lukaku and reading it absolutely superbly that's a splendid pass from Romelu Lukaku a goal! we're really being spoiled this is attacking football at its finest Here's the replay. Just look at this pass from Lukaku. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So they restart the game and only one team in it. Schlager. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Threaded through by Lukaku. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. And there it is. That will do nicely for Belgium. They prevailed in this game. And Stuart, as always, keen to get your analysis. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. Well, many will regard him as the complete midfield player, Kevin De Bruyne. And how do you shackle him? It's well nigh impossible, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the